70 grams of dye stone and mix it with 14 milliliters of water. Alright, this is now the consistency of the stone and we're ready to uh, pour the impression. Then we pour the uh, stone channel of the articulator. Slowly top it off and slowly put stone around the surface stabilizers. By, by using this technique, we minimize uh, air pockets that can form around the stabilizers, uh, the surface stabilizers. If there are air pockets there, uh, uh, the section dies could be affected and it may not have the same stability if air pockets exist. And basically, we have to make sure that the uh, remaining stone is uh, firm enough. Has to, it has to have already some firmness, otherwise the stone will just uh, will, 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 will not stack properly. It will just fall around on the edges and you're not going to be able to, to properly mount the impression on the articulator. It's critical that your stone has the right type of firmness at this point. Make sure you still also have plenty of time to work with it because if it starts to set too quickly, you will not have time to properly align it, shape it, and fill in any holes. and. Uh, you will not be able to to have a properly mounted impression. At this point make sure it's aligned properly and also that it's level. Make sure the impression, the center of the impression is level with the ball. Is it level? Mm -hmm. Okay. 
And now while you still have time, start removing excess stone. This has to come out, otherwise you're going to have a lot of stone to grind and then you're not going to it will not be mounted properly. You won't be able to properly shape it and fill out any areas that need stone. Okay, you can use your fingers to remove excess stone as well. The stone, stone is already uh, starting to s set. When the stone starts to fall apart like that, it's getting hard. So you have very little time left. The more excess stone you can remove at this point, the less grinding you have to do once the stone is set. If you are going to be using the incisal pin, make sure to clear away the area where the incisal pin hole is. There's a membrane on top of that hole so uh, you'll have to look from from the underside to see where the incisal pin hole is. It is located up front and in the back. Okay. Also use the wet finger technique to properly clean around the edges so the stone is flush with the edge okay now you have a properly mounted impression Now we're going to be doing the opposing side, applying a little uh, debubbleizer here. Now we snap it together. Again, you have to make sure that the uh, stone's consistency allows you to stack it properly.
slowly apply pressure. And again, you want to make sure you try to get it level. So it uh, not only will it be functional, but it's also going to look nice. Okay, to get the right consistency, make sure it it has a a clay type clay doughy consistency. Okay, once it's. Uh, feeling nice and firm. And you can start to shape it. Remove the excess stone as usual. Fill in, fill in um, the voids. and you let it set.